I think we are right on time. Okay, there are a few new things here. What is it? Great. Let's wait for a few seconds so that people can join us. I think hello Ria how are you thanks for joining me I think we have started okay okay 11 people have joined us hello Akshay how are you we are back again let's wait for a few more minutes so that more people can join us hello VG graphics yes 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 hello it's Milaha I'm really sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly hello Kishore hello Soumya hello Tarandeep hello Vinay how are you how are you guys how are you guys how are you doing last week last week we missed the schedule but uh, it's okay no problem due to some technical glitches my internet was not working it was raining here and i was stuck somewhere else i'm really sorry but that's not a problem because i'm live again okay now quickly tell me guys am i audible or not how's this sound hello aditya hello ismailaha lots of love to Afghanistan we, which means sound is good right thank you Aditya thank you thank you Naman how are you hello Anand how are you okay I think we have a lot of guys here so we should start okay let's start let's start i'm here and today we we'll, we will be discussing oracle database 11g administrator yes oracle database 11g administrator certifications we have our trusty notepad here it always help us to give quality information to you guys almost correct not almost the correct information to you guys hello NP programming I will be taking your questions uh, but first let's discuss the topic then and also in the end of this video we will also be discussing the future upcoming videos uh, which uh, which you can which you guys can expect from this YouTube channel because we recently finished PLSQL programming right your response was really amazing on those PL SQL videos that was like overwhelming for me but today we will be talking about Oracle database 11g I know I know that cloud and automation a lot of things are going going on in the market but but that doesn't mean on-premises technology is completely obsolete that means 11g still in the game lots of lots of companies are still on 11g and i think they will they will keep on using 11g for next five to seven year because it's not going anywhere like switching from one infrastructure to another uh, to a complete new infrastructure is really a very big deal and nobody wants to invest a lot of money in that all lots of guys are joining me I will be taking your questions but first let's talk about Oracle database 11g yes like always there are three sets of exams which you need to give in order to become Oracle database 11g certified administrator right three sets of exam the first set the first exam in this set is 1z0071 the one which we have discussed which we are discussing since the starting of this live series which we are doing here about this certification things almost like well, I think so far whatever we have discussed on in this live series regarding all the certification 100071 is the first step for all the exam 
all the certifications pet, uh, exams or all the certification sets right so one that zero zero seven one we have already discussed about it so i will not be wasting your time by discussing all those uh, information once again right also i have done a very beautiful note on my facebook on this one that zero zero seven one so you guys can go and read that out but now we will discuss the second level the second exam the second exam associate level exam yes that is one that zero zero five two one that zero zero five two all those guys who who wants to write it down just go ahead and do so it's one that zero zero five two the name of the exam is oracle database administration one or administrator one or workshop one yes and uh, it's a beautiful exam i personally have given this exam and uh, on the scale uh, on the difficulty scale i will rate uh, very advanced things because that i think that's the last exam in associated associate level or uh, in oracle database 11g series and uh, you will be learning a lot of things like uh, uh, managing spaces undo space management uh, uh, backup strategies a lot of things we will discuss about that just in a few seconds but first let's see what is the duration of this exam the duration of this exam is 90 minutes 1 hour 30 minutes it's a 1 hour 30 minutes long exam sit enjoy just go sit relax and enjoy your time because in this 90 minutes let me let me quickly 90 minutes yes it's 90 minutes not pet said it's 90 minutes 1 hour 30 seconds in in this 90 minutes you have to answer 70 questions yes 70 simple questions nature of questions will be multiple choice you need not to worry about writing things just go ahead take your time relax take some deep breaths uh, just look at the take a good look of the question and then attempt it multiple choice questions go ahead see most of you most of the questions you can answer using uh, common sense because uh, uh, majority of the questions are concept basis right if you are you if if your concepts are clear then you can easily attempt this exam even you can uh, score a uh, you you can easily score good in this exams so if your concepts are really good because in comparison of one zero zero seven one and the next exam which we will be discussing now this one is the easiest one OCA yeah as I have already told you that this is an associated le associate level exams which mean which means on passing this exam you will be getting Oracle certified associate certificate as well as a badge badge uh, you can use that badge from it on your resume and if you want you can just print it out and with your name and stick it on your work desk that looks good anyways let's come to the topic it's an associated associate level exam like all the or every other associate level exam it's uh, again proctored which means you need to book your examination slot you need to book an appointment you need to visit the oracle certified center in order to attempt this exam right you need to register this exam then need to fix an appointment and then need to visit the oracle certified center or person view center to get this exam just one hour 30 minutes exam 70 questions now what is the minimum percentage required to pass this exam the minimum percentage to, uh, required to pass this exam is let me quickly ask mr known yep 66 percent 66 percent you know what the beauty of this exam is that only 66 percent you need to score only 66 percent which means 47 questions out of uh, 70 out of 70 men, uh, questions you just need to attempt only 47 questions you will be passed but as i have already i have as i am always saying that do not count the questions because to enhance the security of the exam sometime you get those questions which are unscored oracle gives surprises in their examination schedule they introduce this security pattern where they put unscored questions which means you must be enjoying your exam giving or uh, taking attempt of, the, of your questions but you cannot uh, you cannot find out if the question you recently attempted is scored questions or just a dummy question 
that's why never count the questions just go sit relax and attempt all the questions anyways to pass this exam you need to uh, 66 uh, percent minimum 66 percent and uh, that's it one hour 30 minutes 66 percent 70 questions i don't think it's a very big deal that's a very easy thing right anyways now recently in last uh, one uh, i think uh, from last uh, like uh, it's uh, august from july la uh, this july uh, last month oracle has in increased the uh, prices of all the proctored exams i see before uh, uh, before uh, i think before july those were like around uh, 8500 8, or 9000 and but f since july the prices of all the proctored exams are 10000 uh, let me check 10,265 rupees that's the price which is listed on the website official website of oracle certification oracle education um, but you can always get some good discounts from persons view center if you would like to purchase from um, uh, oracle certified centers go ahead and check whether they have any discounts or not they usually have discounts all the time so you can uh, even uh, i've seen people buying these vouchers uh, in almost uh, with a discount of 30 percent right in six thousand or in maybe uh, seven thousand so always go find out the nearest uh, oracle certified center check with them whether they they have this voucher if they have then uh, what's the cost is there any is there any uh, discount going on or not right okay the slavers let's talk about the slavers it the the slavers consist only 17 topics 17 easy topics concepts concept based topic no programming very less programming it's not like plsql or sql you have to go through that it's nothing like that just all the concepts and uh, these 17 concepts include like performing database backups and uh, data movement using sql loader or uh, data pump as well as uh, undo data management and all these are majority of these topics are theoretical base base and uh, you will be performing all these things using enterprise manager uh, which we have uh, seen on our uh, videos i have already covered enterprise manager how most of, i i saw that many of you guys are having problem in getting uh, started with the enterprise manager i will be doing a video on that but don't worry uh, regarding data movement SQL loader and the data pump we have already done a very good series on that majority of the topics of uh, OCA 11G OCA has already been covered in our YouTube channel so you guys can uh, take a look at that but if you want to prepare yourself then I suggest you to go ahead check out Oracle Docs web uh, website download uh, related documents uh, I think a database and backup uh, database and backup recovery guide uh, there's a document on that go ahead and download that majority of topics are covered in that particular document you can easily get through that it's free of cost you can download it and uh, practice the concept that's it and uh, uh, most of the uh, topics are already covered on my youtube channel as i already said so you can also take help of that i will be taking your question just in a second let me just finish this one okay so let's see it's oracle uh, database administrator workshop one one that zero zero five two a very good exam and it's just uh, uh, one hour 30 minute long 70 questions and 66 percentage only consists 17 topics you just need to study 17 topics which are really very easy i really enjoyed in, uh, in studying them i really enjoy teaching them uh, in my case i only take 25 days for uh, in my uh, classes to cover the entire entire syllabus of 100052 i have seen majority of my students have scored over 90 uh, above 90 percent so i find this i i personally think that it's a very easy exams scoring over 90 percent is very easy with that yes anyone can score over 90 percent now let's quickly take few questions hi varsha hi deepika hello i started my career in oracle few weeks ago congratulations day by day yes the uh, technology the field of technology is very dynamic that is actually a very beautiful question oracle db or a developer you know what if you are a developer then you need to learn 
all the things which are uh, if you are a DBA then you need to learn all the things which a developer has to go through right if you don't know how to write a PLSQL or SQL then you cannot perform uh, performance tuning or uh, various other tasks so you always need to have some idea about uh, developer uh, from the developer perspective too and if you are a developer and you want to write very good queries if you don't don't want to mess with the database you don't want to mess with the DBAs you yourself want to improve uh, the database performance then you need to learn the database administrator things right you never know the opportunities you never know when an opportunity knock at your door so always be ready for that go ahead and learn both the things both the things from developer as well as DBA if you are good with PLSQL then I don't think you will be facing you you'll, you'll face any problem uh, learning DBA task majority of tasks are very easy Oh, hello, Varsha, which is the best certification for career growth, database developer certification or database admissive? First of all, Varsha, that is actually a very intense question. As I always say, no certificate and no degree can guarantee a good career. Nothing. That piece of paper is completely useless if you don't have any skills, right? So stop wasting your time and money in finding a institute or a, a certificate start learning skills no skills require a certificate right if you love writing java code start improving them start writing codes in java if you love c c plus plus start writing c c plus plus if you love doing uh, python then start learning it start exploring all the things all the concepts which are like unknown to the world go ahead and learn those get some skills learn new skills every day stop searching for certificate for your career they cannot guarantee you guarantee you a good life or a good career it's you only you can guarantee a good career if you have skills about your career you are consistent with your skills and you are a hardworking person then no one can stop you no one believe me you don't need any certificate you don't need any degree but yes having a degree having a certificate is always good but if you are a fresher you are in college or just past the college just out of from the college then stop wasting your time and money stop wasting your time and money in searching an institute or a certificate rather start searching an internship just get into the industry, see how work hap things happens, see how work get done, learn new skills like teamwork and uh, 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 how things is, uh, things are happening, what uh, industry is doing right now. Just go ahead, find some work, do it, just get into it and then once you are into the industry and then you think that now you have to go up and that requires a certificate then think about it from skills but still you are asking about database administrator or uh, developer i cannot say about it because if you love doing programming go for a uh, developer if you are not very good with programming then look for administrator that um, both both are really good field according to your choice go with go with them right and uh, we have already discussed about Oracle Database 12C uh, release 1 and release 2 in previous live streams. So if you want to learn about those certificates, then go watch those live streams, right? And if you guys are listening to me, stop searching for certificates, stop searching for institutes and stop getting target uh, stop being marketing target of those institutes because you don't need a certificate you don't need a piece of paper to prove yourself you know that no you don't need that the only thing which you need is skills that's it just stop doing that okay let's move ahead to the let's jump to the second uh, the third i think 100071 the third exam the third exam in the series is 10053 that is a professional level length uh, professional see i'm fumbling professional level exam 
द नेम ऑफ दिस एग्जाम इज ऑरिकल डेटा बेस इलेवन जी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टू और वर्कशीप वर्कशॉप वर्कशीप वैक इज दैट वर्कशॉप टू राइट दैट्स अगेन अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम बट दैट इज इंट ईजी लाइक ओ सी और वन जेड जीरो जीरो सेवन वन स्कोरिंग अराउंड एटी परसेंट विल बी वेरी हार्ड फॉर यू बट यू नीड आई एज एज एम सेंग सिंस द बिगनिंग ऑफ दिस लाइफ सीरीज Every single exam requires you to get above sixty percent to pass pass them. But that's why you need to score above ninety percent because seven uh, score scoring between seventy to eighty will be considered as a average marks, right? In order to perform good, in order to prove yourself that you have done really good in these exams, you need to score above ninety percent. And if you invest a lot of time, not a lot, means like a month of study. If you are a hardworking person, you are investing your time studying good, then you can easily get ninety percent above ninety percent. Let's talk about one z zero zero five three. The third exam in the series is one z zero zero five three. Okay, we have already. I think I have already. I have already told you the name of the exams. Hi, Tushar. How are you? I will. I will be taking other questions right after discussing this exam. So, guys, hang in there. Okay, it's a professional level proctored exams. Again, you need to visit the center, book the appointment, visit the center, and then give the exam under the eyes of invigilator. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, the duration of this exam is two hour. Yes. Last the one zero 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 five two is one hour thirty minutes exam. This one is two hour exam, and you need to answer seventy eight questions successfully. Right? Yeah, the total number of questions for this exams which you need to face is seventy eight. Seventy eight questions, two hour. That's it. I think two hour will be enough for seventy eight multiple choice questions. Right? Now, let's see what is the minimum percentage you require. Again, to pass this exam, you need sixty-six percent. Right? I was looking for a, my bottle of water, but I completely forgot to bring that. But it's okay, no problem. Fine. So, two hour exam, seventy-eight questions, sixty-six percent. I think that will be easy. Nothing else. The syllabus is really very intense because in this exam you will be learning a lot about a lot about a lot about database and backup. R man, R man recovery manager को बोलते हैं आह that yeah we call recovery manager that's a short form abbreviation for uh, uh, recovery manager. R man, flashback technologies and uh, performing undo management and uh, database diagnostics and all. Yes. you will be learning all these advanced topic in this exams so the syllabus is definitely not going to be easy you definitely required to work really hard with that okay i'll be taking questions uh, in a second just hang in there guys the prize of this exam let's discuss the prize of this exam again it's a proctored exam the prize of this exam is again 10265 rupees which is Hundred and fifty dollar, which is around hundred and fifty dollar. Yes, if you are out, if you want to, uh, if you are not from India, and if you want to buy it, you can definitely buy it uh, by paying one hundred and fifty dollar. Okay, we will be discussing from where the heck you can get these vouchers. Okay, fine. Now, syllabus. The syllabus or syllabus of one zero 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 five three consists nineteen topics. One nine nineteen topics. Very hard. Not gonna be easy. I've already told you what you're gonna have to face in this in these topics: flashback technology, recovery manager, performing backup and recovery using R man, undo data management, performing database diagnostics. A lot of thing about it. You know what? If I start if I start telling you the entire list of flavors, I'm definitely going to take a lot of time here, which I really don't want. I really don't want to waste your time. So I have a I have a very good idea, like we are doing here. I will again be doing a very good short notes just for you guys with all the details we have discussed here and uh, which I completely forgot to discuss here, slipped from my mind on my Facebook page. Right, right now I'm shamelessly plugging my Facebook page to you guys. Yes, I want you to. Follow me. That's facebook.com slash the rebellion writer. I will be doing a very good note. Yes, I am doing a lot of notes on there. Right, 
recently i have done a note on oracle database 18c release yes we will be discussing about that that's a very beautiful topic i completely forgot about that it's okay no problem we will talk about that in a second so where i was i was yes i was talking about the syllabus and all so i was saying i will be doing two notes on 1z0052 and 053 because i have already done 1z0071 i will not be doing that again so i will be posting two notes right after this live session on my facebook page with uh, all the detailings with all the details which we have discussed and other details which i completely forgot to discuss here so go ahead and read that read those notes okay i will be posting the link of those notes in the description of this live also right so 100053 two hour long exam 78 questions 66 percentage minimum required so what does 66 percentage means which means okay uh, around 52 questions you need to answer 52 questions correctly to get good marks to get pass in this exam right it's a professional level exam which means you on passing that exam you will be getting a oracle certified oracle database 11g certified professional certificate as well as badge now let's talk about the eligibility of 1z0052 first and then 052 053 okay so in order to uh, in order to become oracle certified associate you need to give 1z0052 and but you you will be eligible for that exam only when you have passed 1z0071 yes the eligibility criteria 1z0052 is 1z0071 the another exam which you can uh, pass if you have already passed i'm not saying go for that 1z0061 i'm not not saying that you have go for 1z0061 i'm repeating it again and again 1z0061 is retiring so don't attempt that exam go for 1z0071 right so 1z0052 one uh, requires 1z0071 and 1z0053 requires you to pass 1z0052 first right you might get you might receive one Z, uh, oracle database certified associate certificate on giving 1z0052 but if you haven't passed 1z0071 and 072 then you will not be receiving uh, one uh, oracle certified professional certificate yes in order to get your certificate you need to pass 1z0052 and 071 both the exams that that is kind of a restriction which you have to follow through so one that go ahead complete your 1z0071 if you if even if you are not planning for database administrator or developer 071 is a fund sql fundamental exam it's it's like very good exam if you know how, uh, how to write sql codes it's a very easy exam go ahead and do that right and uh, if you have if you all if you already have 100061 then you are free to sit for 052 only if you already have 061 but if you don't have 061 then don't attempt it because it's getting retired on 31st october or maybe on 30 october okay so don't go for 1 go for 1 three sets again in order to be three exams 1 052 and 053 that's all once you are done attempting all these three certificates you will be You'll be done you will you will be oracle certified 11g oracle database 11g certified professional right now let's take a few questions and then yeah but before that uh i just re uh, i just remember we will uh, uh about oracle database 18c since few week uh, since few big uh, few, no give me a second just give me a second before few weeks 18c oracle database 18c was available only on cloud there was no provision to download it in your machine and start practicing that but in last weeks oracle has released an on-premises file all the binaries requires you to install it on your machine but only for linux version i'm hoping 
that they will be releasing all the set of files for windows also but so far if you have linux machine linux installed on your machine then you can download oracle database 18c from oracle website and start practicing it start using it right now from where you can download it i have I have, I have left the link all the necessary link on my Facebook page go ahead and check it check that out right okay we have already passed 30 minutes but still let's see two questions we have a lot of time here let me check let me check hey Tushar hello Mr. Sani how are you Choosing DB as a career is good or bad? It's definitely good. Database administrator is really a very good career. I really love it because I've been working in the industry since last uh, five years and I really enjoy uh, playing with data and databases. Hey Tusha, you want to learn PLSQL? You, uh, you want to know how to start? I think I have a very good idea. How about you start watching my videos on PLSQL series because I really have invested a lot of time and resources in producing those quality videos I think you should start watching those those are really very good videos I, I think that okay what's the next question I heard the majority of DBA work is automated not so far but yes in future because Oracle it database 18 C is uh, all about automation database ad automation but that doesn't mean machine can kill all the manual jobs definitely not so in order also in order to be competitive in the market you you need to learn a lot of new skills every day right automation is one of them how about uh, you learn DBA things and then start learning about artificial intelligence and uh, automations Internet of Things. Hello, Mr. Naidu. How are you? Hello, Sachin Dikshit. How are you, buddy? Thank you, all your video. Please guide 100044. That is actually a very good exam. I will be. I think I have done a very good blog post on 100044. I will be putting the link in the description. Please do check. 07 exam from any country. Yes any exam which we have discussed so far on this channel you can you're free to attempt them from anywhere in the world yes from anywhere in the world there is no country uh, country bars just go ahead buy the voucher look for the nearest uh, uh, oracle certified centers and then uh, like fix the appointment go ahead and take an attempt Hello, Mr. Khalid. How are you? Just let me see what is. How to write toughest and big SQL query? I would suggest you to start learning from the basics, from the fundamentals, and then start uh, introducing, uh, start solving your day-to-day -day life problem using programming language, just like SQL. And how about uh, let's take a very simple questions. How about uh, you write a query? to uh, calculate the average of your vehicle start with that go ahead see uh, how to how to tackle this problem of finding the average of your vehicle using SQL I think that is actually a very good start for you you are working for a bank very good we are playing playing data only so could you guide me how to write a start SQL query yes that is actually that is actually we are saying that uh, you start learning SQL from the basics get your hand get your uh, get your feet wet with the uh, the fundamentals once you are good with that then start writing small small queries then start joining those as small queries that's all you have to do PL yes plsql we will be discussing about oracle database developer in the next live stream we will uh, soon we will soon be discussing about upgrade exams because many of the exams are getting expired very soon in uh, coming october so um, uh, most of you guys want to learn about how to upgrade your previous exams
okay one more thing i want i want to uh, i want to discuss here that majority of my students uh, who who are coming from college they think that programming is a very difficult thing difficult field you know what that isn't programming is really very easy if you know how and when to apply it programming just is like solving problem just before writing any program i know m most of you guys get demotivated but that doesn't mean just before writing any any program in any programming language think about the problem and think how you want to solve it just think about it then put it it on a paper in in the starting phases write it down on a paper and then start writing a program according to that solution which you just thought in your head believe me that definitely going to help you with your programming skills programming isn't very hard because i remember when i was in college i used to think that programming is really really bad thing because only very few people can do that thing but then i realized that we can solve a lot of problems if we can write a program right as i just said if you want to calculate the average of your vehicle just write a program for that right that will be in a way that will be that will be a very good start for you uh, programming uh, adventure right similarly you can find various problem in your life which you can solve using programming language right books <coughs> okay there are a lot of books see major, most of you guys are asking for books as a I'm not I, I don't suggest any books because I personally think that whatever book you find comfortable go ahead with that right if I suggest a book it may be possible that you don't like the language of that book so you you may get demotivated because of that I don't want you that I don't want to be demotivated like that so go ahead just read the reviews take some sample of those books on online you can definitely find samples online uh, samples on amazon and all read that and if you think that the language of that book is up to your standard then go ahead and buy that see sql plsql oracle database 11g is quite quite old technology like they are in the field uh, since qu quite long right so majority of books are delivering the same content right so go ahead read the books see if you feel comfortable with that and then buy those books all also if you don't want to invest in those books so i will suggest you to go ahead and download documents from oracle doc website oracle has done really very good thing a good work in that they have uh, uh, they have a very good collection of documents all available for you just in free you don't have to pay anything definitely that's exactly what i'm saying that you cannot buy all the books so go ahead check out oracle docs website and download the docs which you find necessary i don't understand no 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 oracle dba future isn't dying no not in near future definitely not in near future no don't worry about that just just be comfortable here it's not dying anywhere don't worry nothing is going anywhere data is here databases will be here technology is changing technology is dynamic yes a uh, few years back we didn't have the clouds right now we are working in clouds on premises things uh, people were saying that on premises software will be getting obsolete very soon but they aren't we are still working on on-premises software like we are still working on 11g right we still download java we still write a code in java and then we deploy it on the server right we are still doing that i know aws is there i know oracle is there a lot of codes a cloud cloud is there but that doesn't uh, that doesn't mean that the on-premises technology has has been obsolete it's here and it's always gonna be here it may be it may be things will things will change but nothing is gonna no 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 nobody is getting replaced nobody is getting died no field is getting died it's just that in order to be competitive in the market in order to be in the market you just keep on learning new things right just keep on learning new things okay did you know mongodb yes i used to work on mongodb 
but uh, last in last one are uh, one uh, in last one or maybe one 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 and a half years i haven't worked in mongodb no the current project i was working we uh, involves a lot of python work it's data analytic things we we are will be working on a very huge application where we are producing value from our data so a lot of python in there that being said let's talk about the future of this channel so we recently finished plsql a lot of plsql videos around 88 videos are here right a lot of good content quality content already have been produced a lot of sql videos here around uh, like 80 85 or maybe 90 videos of sql 88 videos of plsql now i think we should start learning python first we will learn the python then the fundamental of python then we will jump on the advanced python where we will learn how to do all the data thing with python because i find, i i myself think that python is a very good uh, programming language and good as well as very easy programming language so i'm working on producing that series i i i'm i'm writing uh, content for, for python for this uh, on python for this channel and i will be bringing a series of python a series of python videos very soon so if you guys really want to learn about python hang in there okay because python is really really very good language actually i initially i want to do data analysis using python but i thought that that might confuse you majority of guys who are learning who are beginners don't those who don't have idea about python so that will be slightly confusing for them so i decided to start from the scratch and then jump over to the advanced concept so we first do the fundamental of pythons a lot of uh, things we will be learning about python in the first few videos actually the first series is going to be the installation one then we will be doing the fundamentals and then we will be doing advanced thing where we will be learning uh data analysis majority of uh, things regarding data and databases okay 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 adng automated hello mr vinod you're from bangalore very good i think it's raining there in bangalore hello abin abiman thank you thank you very much hello rahul you have retracted your message but still i know you will be learning a lot here please hello vino vinod sub queries yes 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 sub queries yeah i don't know why i'm forgetting about doing sub queries i will definitely be doing i will definitely be doing sub queries videos on sub queries which programming language is best to start with see any language which you feel comfortable i felt comfortable with java so i started learning uh, uh, programming with java then i i learned c++ then i get fascinated by c so i learned c but at the end of my college i decided to work with data so i started learning uh, hadoop that was a good language but uh, i find python right now i'm currently working with python so i find it is it, it is a, uh, find this language as a in comparison of uh, uh, other languages like c sharp and uh, java so if you are a beginner you want to learn python so uh, if you are a beginner you want to learn uh, programming so i decide i suggest you i suggest you to start learning languages like python and c++ hello mr raja from kuwait a lot of love to kuwait how are you guys forms and reports yes initially transverse forms and reports but uh, now i have started about python so let's finish the python then we will jump over forms and reports yes i will definitely be sharing videos on python i am very pumped about this series i'm i i have started working on just hang in there it may be chances that i will not be posting few uh, in coming one or two weeks but by the end of this month i will definitely be posting a series with python uh, video a series of videos on python see i don't want i just don't want to start uploading videos uh, i just want to produce quality content which is easy to understand and valuable to you, for you guys that's why just give me few time 
let me per, uh, let me think about let me let me create a let me create a structure and then let me just get it done give me some time please just a few weeks let me just uh, come with some ideas how i can uh, do uh, this python in an easy way for you guys thank you so much rahul hello sai how are you guy buddy joins topic i joins i uh, yes we have done videos on joins mainly for audio joins okay wish you have for okay see those are like writing standard just write oracle join or ansi join these are like way of writing uh, in statements it's nothing like it's nothing like uh, getting uh, confused with see which thing which you find uh, com- uh, which you find easy to write and then go with that i find uh, oracle way of uh, stay uh, pro- uh, giving oracle way of give me a second i really like how we write joins in oracle way rather than uh, rather in ansi so i write joins in uh, the way uh, oracle has recommended right but if you love writing detail thing so go for the ansi thank you vino thank you so much and i'm really hoping that you guys will love the python content also i'm working on that i have already started doing that okay i have a plan for that initially i will be doing uh, four or maybe five videos maybe more on installation different ways of installation and then we will move all over the fundamentals and then the advanced things so that's how we gonna enjoy python and after python we will definitely be doing forms and reports in oracle database and uh, i saw that you guys are you guys really want forms and reports so i will definitely be doing videos on that also oh, i think that's enough for now it's already been 48 minutes so let's finish this live stream here if you guys have any questions or if you have any confusion send me your doubts on my email id it's rebellion rider y t at gmail.com or write me a message on my facebook or twitter you can find all my social media links in the description of this video and all my contact information also so that's it for today guys let's wind up okay thank you so much for joining me here thank you so much for giving me your time i will be coming back soon i will be coming back with python soon and i will be doing another live stream and uh, another on another set of uh, certification like as i said on developer oracle database developer certification very soon thank you for joining me this is vanish from rebellionrider.com